Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Today with us we have Emily Searcy and I'm just gonna let you introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Emily. I'm a sophomore at Mississippi State University and I'm super excited to be here. Tell us a little bit more about your tennis journey. Like how long have you played? Were you at the Mississippi State the whole yeah, time? Yeah, so or? I've been playing for about 11 years. I started my college journey as a freshman at Arkansas State but then I decided to transfer and it was a really good decision. Good. Um, I really didn't start playing tennis serious until pretty late in my career, I'd say 12 or 13, so it's definitely been a quick process, but wow. it's been a lot of fun. What are you struggling with right now? Like, what are some things you would really like to work on? Yeah, so today I think I really want to work on some volleys, maybe some transition game, ground strokes, but just a little bit of everything since I kind of see myself as an all-court player. You are an all-court player, definitely. When we played last time, I just noticed you have a big shots and you're hitting big, but then you really have more opportunity to work on some you know, higher ball, right. higher balls, more angles, recognizing those short ball, short balls coming in. So we will just mix it up today because right now you're in off season, right? Yeah, right? It's off season. yeah it's December now. Right. So <laughs> you're gonna, when is your season starting we'll then? Start January. January, yeah. yeah. So it's starting soon. Okay, yeah. so let's do it. So we talked about, you have big shots, right? Mm -hmm. But you wanna work more on opening up the court. Right, so I put four cones there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on that angle. We're gonna have three progressions. We're gonna start very close to the net. We're gonna hold the racket up here and just work on coming over the ball. We're gonna do a few from here. Then you're gonna move to the service line, same position. And then from the baseline, you're gonna go from here. So still think about accelerating, but just coming over the ball more. And then when you're back there also, I still want you to hit the ball. I don't want you to push the ball and try to make an angle. Okay, here we go. If you hit the cone, you get a lollipop. <laughs> I have these prices for the kids. Hold the racket higher, higher. Yes, I know it's weird. Good. Good, awesome. You move to the service line. Two more. One more. Awesome. You see the difference when you're like coming over it and so like kind of guiding it up, right? Yes, yes. Oh, that's a very good point. Feeling it longer on your strings and more. Intensity with the feet still, okay? I want you to like get low and still hit a regular, regular shot. Good. Good, intensity, come on. Good job, come on. Sorry. Get back more to the middle, more towards the middle. Good, go. Awesome, go. Great, Emily. My goodness. Come on, over it. Love that. Go. Yes. Beautiful. A little late. Good job. Let's go. Great work. So now we're going to incorporate another type of ball. So you're going to start from the middle. I'm going to pull you out wide here, but not too much on the run, right? Just somewhere around here. You're going to load on the outside leg, so open sense, and you're going to aim deep high down the line, okay? And then the second one I'm going to give you is going to be this angle here. Yes. Go. No. Shorter. Good ball. Come on. Angle. Angle. Use your wrist, come over it. <laughs> come on, come on. That's the one. When I was just feeding you balls here and you were right here, right? You were hitting like 
nine out of ten nice but now that you're switching from the deep one to the angle what do you what did why is it harder just movement movement and just keeping that the angle yeah. yeah because you're going from extension right to boom angle extension but just think about like visualize what we did like you know like your arm is higher and you're just coming over it we're going to do this one more time okay just so i want to see 10 in a row yeah that it's like but even if you miss the deep one i it doesn't have to be 10 in the court but 10 in a row deep one yeah if you miss long i'm okay with that if you miss in the net i'm not okay with that we start right. over yeah um and the angle nothing past service line right okay if you miss wide there it's okay Okay. One, two, good, go, three, late, yes, 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 go, 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 four more, good ball, angle, come on, Good. Go two more. Up. You were always so good at changing. Beautiful, Emily. Great job. Okay, so we want to set up points on the opponent's backhands, like right. usually high on the backhand, so then you get what you want. So we did forehand down the line. Now, first ball I'm gonna give you, you're gonna work on loading more, yeah. getting lower, okay? More pushing the ball up and high. I don't care how hard you hit. Yeah. I want depth, yeah. depth and height. And then the second one, I'll give you shorter, then hit flat and hard and rip it down the line. Late, now forward. Good. Under the ball. In, 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 come on. It's a short one, react faster, come on. Great ball. Up. Yes. Yes. Good, Emily. Get in. Two more. Up. Come on, come on, come on. On the deep ones. You're catching it late almost every single time. Do you feel off? A little bit. A little bit, not a lot. What? True, yes. But still, focus on extending both of your elbows at the contact point, right? Especially the left one should be extended. And keep adjusting your feet. I know you haven't practiced many backhands yet, but you can get there with your feet. Really? I just get like, just, and I'm like, I see. You know, I, uh... So on the first one, you know, the problem is you're late. And then on the second one, you're not there on time. So it's completely different. Is, this, is, is the second one supposed to be a put away or an approach? Approach. Okay. Approach. You're in that approach zone. And you know it's a shorter ball, so I want you to be all over it. That I like that. Now get in. And all over it. That's it. Now behind. That's it, Emily. Much better. Go. Up. Again. Good. Good. Awesome. Two more. Nice, one more, over, love that, love that. Do you see the difference between these two? Because you knew where you need to be. There you were more behind it, you were getting ball great deep. This one, you were taking it early and you're ripping it down the line, awesome. Okay, let's work on volleys a little bit. Here we go, just volley to volley. We're gonna work on your 
first volley, low volley. So when you're coming in, the volley around the service line, where you have to really use your legs. First, we're gonna do 10 only deep down the line. So from here, right, split step, just there, 10. Then the second set will be same thing here. And then you're gonna move forward, follow the ball, short one, put away angle. And then the third progression, I'm going to just feed it differently to you. Let's do the first one, 10 down the line only. Yes. Good pickup. Nice. Good. Very good. Now same thing. One there and then the second one forehand more towards the middle put away. Yes. Go. Again. Good. All over that second ball. Big transition. Quick transition. Go. Good. Okay. I don't like those. You don't either. Okay, good. Stop slapping it down more here. Here. Instead of huh less power you're gonna break your shoulder like that too after this one boom and then here here more of like more of an angle it's more efficient than this one better come on get low yes yes Go, two more sets. Good get. Come on. Yes, Emily. One more, one more. Come on. Awesome work. Third progression. I'm standing here and I'm just going like straight at your feet like a serve. So stay on the service line. So you see, yeah, you same thing. I'm just feeding differently. Good. And then, good. Nice! That was great, Emily. Good. Ah, uh, that was easy. Come on, come on, come on. Good! Good job! Uh. Come on, one more set. Good, go for it. Yes! Okay, let's finish off by putting all of these shots together. Deep forehand down the line. Short angle forehand. Deep backhand cross court. Short backhand down the line. Come forward, two forehand volleys. That's it. Let's finish strong. Good. Good. Deep behind the ball. Awesome. Aggressive. Go. Good job. Go again. Let's make all of these in and you're done. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Yes, finish. Yes, Emily. Great work. You did it. <laughs> Good job. Great job. High five. Thank you. Awesome. What did you think about the lesson? It's a great lesson. <laughs> Highly recommend. Um, I really think I have a lot of things to take back with me uh, for the next season. And I really enjoy just in the heat and yes, just grinding it out and being physical too. No, you, you're hitting great. And we just talked about it. It's easier said than done, but Try to relax when you're in the court, you know, try to be free, free in your mind, right? Yes, you're thinking about the strategy, where you need to hit the ball, but work on maybe breathing. You right. struggle with breathing, you yeah. said. 
okay like a more today, yes better, yeah. yes that helped you a lot but yeah. also between the drills between the points like go there <sighs> deep breaths deep breaths okay and loose yeah. loose because you have great shots it's just now like how to use them wisely yeah right for sure great job and okay. good luck in the season thank you appreciate it you're gonna do great